हेलो एंड वेलकम टू बोसॉन्स बॉट नी सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी मोर टाइम लेट अस स्टार्ट विथ इंटरनल सिक्रेटरी स्ट्रक्चर्स इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो और प्रायर टू दिस वीडियो आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट एक्सटर्नल सिक्रेटरी स्ट्रक्चर्स एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई शैल बी डीलिंग विथ इंटरनल सिक्रेटरी स्ट्रक्चर्स सो दे आर आर फॉलोइंग टाइप्स ऑफ इंटरनल सिक्रेटरी स्ट्रक्चर्स एंड दे आर first secretory cells they are found in ground parenchyma and known as idioblast and the condition for these cells to be called as idioblast is when these cells are distinct from their neighboring cells so secretory cells present in ground parenchyma and they are known as idioblast only and only when they are distinct from neighboring cells so you can call these cells as idioblast only when they are uh, morphologically anatomically distinct from their neighboring cells or adjacent cells second point secretory cells have oils resins tannins and gums so these are some uh, derivatives of secretory cells and from the name itself it's very um you know common that uh, internal secretory uh, structures we often get oils if we uh, you know uh, take some leaf extract or some uh, some other plant extract so these are present inside these secretory cells so these are internal secretory cells and common examples are oils resins tannins and gums oils present in cotyledons of arachis arachis is groundnut so arachis is a groundnut uh, the scientific name of groundnut is arachis so oils present in cotyledons of arachis so we uh, consume groundnut to get um, oil or to uh, derive uh, fatty acid from uh, uh, those uh, groundnuts so the main content of arachis or groundnut is oil present in the cotyledons and what are cotyledons these are very important parts of embryo within the seed of a plant so cotyledons are very important integral part of embryo found in seed bearing plants so in arachis or groundnut cotyledons have oils third point Tanniniferous idioblasts are found in families like Euphorbiaceae, Myritaceae. So, tanniniferous idioblast, so secretory cells or idioblastic cells, um, uh, giving uh, or secreting tannin as their main uh, secretion. These are found mainly in the families like. Euphorbiaceae and Myritaceae. Euphorbiaceae, if you take the example of simple Euphorbia plant, and in Myritaceae, for example, if we take um, Guava, Guava belongs to Myritaceae family. So, uh, Tanniniferous idioblasts are found in the families like Euphorbiaceae, common example Euphorbia, and Myritaceae, common example Guava. Crystal idioblasts. found in ficus so these are stony uh, structures which are found in ficus these are uh, basically meant for uh, support for mechanical support but also they are meant to release some uh, secretory um, juices or secretory extracts and they are commonly found in ficus second type of internal secretory structure is glands or glands groups of thin walled cells with dense cytoplasm so glands are basically groups of thin walled cells with dense cytoplasm secretions are collected into special cavities which are elongated or isodiametric so the secretions are poured they are kept they are stored into special secretory ca uh, special cavities which are elongated in structure or isodiametric and these cavities originate in two main ways so there are two following ways uh, by which these uh, special cavities are 
obtained or derived and these are cytogenously and lysogenously so cytogenously is basically the breakdown of cells at middle lamina and lysogenously is basically lysis of some specific cells and lysogenously um, we get these uh, special cavities in case of pericarp of fruits like citrus bark of eucalyptus so these are some examples uh, showing lysogenous uh, type of uh, special cavities for uh, keeping or storing these um, secretions from from glands these are found in the pericarp of fruits like citrus and bark of eucalyptus the third type of internal secretory structure are resin ducts best example of cytogenous ducts so resin ducts are very very common example of cytogenously obtained uh, uh, secretory uh, structures and these are best example of cytogenous ducts found in vascular tissues and ground tissues of conifers so resin ducts are found in vascular and ground tissues of conifers the cells are long forming complex vertical and horizontal system within the plant body many times these are found to form under the stimulus of injury and hence wounding is practically commercially to sorry wounding is practiced commercially to generate resins so uh, this is a very important point regarding resin ducts many times these are generated or formed under stimulus of injury so when a specific portion of a plant is injured due to some mechanical hazard then these uh, resin ducts are developed and therefore this um, you know um, mechanism of plant system is used or exploited by us uh, commercially uh to allow the process of wounding you know um deliberately to allow the process of wounding commercially to generate resins so so the, the uh, practice of wounding is very very common in these plants which are giving rise to resin ducts because they uh, generate resins and resins are very important uh uh so you know uh, products for um, sealing things for ligating things um, so these are very important uh, derivatives uh, plant derivatives we obtain and for uh, getting them we deliberately um, injure a particular section of a plant or uh, allow wounding to get resins the last uh, type of internal secretory structures are lactifer uh, sorry laticiferous tissues or laticiferous cells these are parenchymatous cells and uh, the secretion is viscous in nature or the secretion is a viscous fluid viscous means very thick very dense and the consistency is not very uh, liquid or not very flowy but it's very very dense very uh, you know thick in nature and the secretion is commonly known as latex the cells are living latex is a suspension having many other substances like waxes resins oils proteins etc may also have alkaloids as in um, example if you take papaver papaver is uh, basically um, a sedative a uh, plant from which we get sedative uh, drugs papaver somnifera or poppy commonly known as poppy or enzymes as in case of papaya so latex is a suspension having many other sus substances like waxes resins oils proteins etc and may also have alkaloids like in papaver or poppy or enzymes as in case of papaya and the last point of this topic is used to make rubber so latex is com commonly used or co commercially explo exploited to make rubber so uh, this is the end of uh, secretory tissues and 
from my next video uh, i shall be starting with uh, the anatomical part of plant system the uh, main important things about primary and secondary growth primary secondary structures primary secondary tissues differences between root and stem uh, both anatomically and um, also few morphological aspects so this is the end of the tissue system and in my next video um, i will take up the uh, important topics like primary secondary growth the uh, tissue system in details thank you